hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to secure your Wi-Fi connection by just adding a one more layer of protection along with your Wi-Fi password in the D-Link router the purpose of the D-Link router is to split your internet uh, connection across multiple devices uh, wire both wired and wireless devices so let's move on what you have to do is just need to navigate to this IP address which is provided in the D-Link manual 192.168.0.1 that you can find in the YouTube description and click on this if you have password if you set up the password for this uh, IP you can very well provide on the username here I didn't provide any password I'm just logging in and here go to this wireless option uh, this is the security option so these are all uh, default option and no need to change anything and this is a security option which I have chosen uh, I have chosen WPA PSK and I have provided the password so now uh, if any wireless device uh, which find my uh, Wi-Fi signal and provide this password uh, uh, Rajan123 then that wireless device can able to access my internet connection but now I'm going to tell you how to control that only the added device can able to access your connection so in order to do that go to advanced wireless option here you will see an option access control list ACL setup just click on this ACL setup so what you have to do is you have to enable wireless access control mode but before enable this option make sure that you are enable this from your wired connection which means you should connect this D-Link uh, router from your PC or lab using an Ethernet cable and you should not use or mock this enable option from your uh, wireless connection because as soon as you click on this enable option from your wireless connection this D-Link address gets removed and you cannot able to access this because you are indirectly saying that only the registered device can able to access this signal so at the time when you're doing this for the first time none of the uh, none of the device is registered so uh, the only solution is uh, you have to connect through wired and then enable this option using an ethernet cable and then enable this option so i'm going to show you uh, these are all the uh, devices which is using my wi-fi signal whenever i want i can control that if i don't want this device uh, to access my signal i can select this device and delete selected it will delete that and this device cannot access my wi-fi signal even though that device contain a valid password so let's see how to uh, add a new device so this is my PC I'm connecting through Ethernet cable just for tutorial purpose I'm going to show you how to add this MAC address uh, so in order to find the MAC address it's a 12 digit code go to command prompt and click get MAC and press enter you will find a physical address 7071BC7642B9 this is your MAC address you need to provide that without a colon or a hyphen 7071BC it it may be uh, it's a case insensitive so you can provide a small letter no problem in that BC7642B9 Once you click on this MAC address, just click this add button. So if you uh, you can also control your mobile phone. If you want to find the MAC address in the mobile phone, go to settings in the about tab. You will find uh, device information or status. So go to that status and there you will find WALN MAC address. It will also be a 12 digit. You need to add that and click on this add button. Now I have registered successfully my MAC address. So uh, this device alone can able to access the uh, access my Wi-Fi signal even though uh, other uh, wireless device have my Wi-Fi password so this is how you should add an extra layer of protection to your uh, internet signal if you have uh, any doubts uh, just drop in a comments uh, and please subscribe and give thumbs up if you find this tutorial helpful thank you